Hi. How you doing? Welcome to Breakfast Talk episode. Breakfast Talk. Breakfast Talk. That's so creepy. Uh, <laughs> episode thirty-one. This is what happens when you don't give me butter. <laughs> give me my butter. <laughs> wakey, wakey, smell those eggs and bakey. It's time for Breakfast Talk, a podcast discussing current, independent, and mainstream entertainment topics from gaming and movies to comics. Start your week off right with the Breakfast Boys. As always, if you can smell what we're cooking, click that like button. And if your tummies are rumbling for more, click subscribe and ring that brecky bell to turn on all notifications. All right, let's talk. Breakfast talk. <laughs> That's so weird. I didn't understand the assignment apparently, so That's I don't have weird, any. Man. Don't have any kind of mask or anything. What are you talking you about can, Jim Halper? If, yeah. If you can, I'm, no, I'm I'm Dwight. So if you can like no, see, if you can just me? zoom in somehow and see that. I think I think he's Dwight after he got contacts. Yeah. Greg is a scary. Yes, I am. <laughs> Fire. You're the scariest one. <laughs> I am Jesus, scary. Greg, could you take it off? We're trying to just talk to people. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> That's the best skin, Edward man. James almost costume I've ever seen. Sorry. See, it's in the office realm, too. You see that? Look at that. Halloween and the office. I'm killing it. Boom. Easy. He's uh, we're gonna just be talking about like our favorite oh, horror movies or our least favorite. It's, yeah, it's Halloween, so happy Halloween! So, um, <laughs> so weird. <laughs> you the <to> Peter Griffin. <laughs> For anyone wondering why I'm not actually wearing the mask, it's because this skull mask decided to go. I don't like people with glasses. That's what happens. Just don't wear your glasses. I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> I can't fucking see, Greg. Jesus. Four eyes. So, um. <laughs> and it's funny, hey, actually. It's weird hey, that the, the hey, headset fits better with the with the skull mask on. But when I pull it down, let me take the glasses off. Like before, uh, before we get started, we do have a buy me a coffee. Um, if you go to buymeacoffee.com slash Sierra Nova Comics, you can actually either subscribe or just buy us a coffee so that'd be pretty yeah, cool because, because as you can see butter butter cat is is looking very I'm uh, dying here. yeah he's dying he's he's wasting Stretch away basically right i need my butter he needs butter he needs the butter he's giving a stick of butter oh no, no, no. i need to stick none of that i can't believe it ain't crap i can tell <laughs> i can tell <laughs> Yeah. So, my, uh, I um didn't see the new Halloween movie, but I would uh, I would like to, even though I know that people are uh, bashing it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm I'm into seeing it just just oh, to see it. You know yeah, what I mean? I see it because I, I, I think I might go see it tomorrow. Actually, yeah, I saw the new the one before that. Um, whenever like last year or something so i just have to see it because you know yeah speaking speaking it. speaking of i did like a mm -hmm. i saw like a lineup of like the entire like the continuity of the halloween movies um because like the new movies are actually outside of the continuity from night from it's like weird because they like diverged and then they went back with um what's her name uh the main glory Ja yeah but what's her jamie name lee curtis jamie lee curtis right so like laurie when she leaves essentially or when she she dies in the movie like that is where like the continuity gets screwed up and then now they're going back to the continuity and like reinventing it yep um yeah. so yeah it's it, it's a mess man it's a freaking mess and it doesn't make any goddamn sense i saw season of the witch for the first time this year um i don't see why all the hate for that it's not it's just because michael myers isn't in it but um josh harris jr harris uh, he actually said it's not like the work like the worst movie ever made was it's that just, like the anthology one it's supposed to be 
like Halloween was supposed to be an anthology, apparently. Yeah. Like, and Michael Myers wasn't supposed to be around forever, but since you know people enjoyed that, they're like, oh, you're gonna bring him back now because the third one didn't do as well as one and two. And, you know, what, uh, what really gets me is they don't explain ever how he becomes this supernatural being that essentially can never die. Yeah, that's and like it, the one thing. And I thought it was like maybe his like Halloween mask was somehow cursed. And I was like, that would have made you? sense. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe I should make a Halloween movie. There you go. Yeah. Um, I'm going to make a Bobby T movie. Yeah. Gregory. Uh, so. Gregory. Uh, that's, that's not even my favorite, like, Halloween um, or <clears throat> franchise, especially what, Friday the 13th. What's your, what's your favorite Halloween franchise or movie or whatever? Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th. All right, cool. Yeah, I like all of them, and I know some of them are yeah. a big miss. <laughs> <laughs> We're all in Jason's in space. Yeah. There's a miss right there. <laughs> that, that was what, Jason X? That was what, oh, yeah. that was Honestly, I thought that. that that was like the first one that finally like made sense. <laughs> <laughs> On the contrary, that would be some, Somebody just sense. punched their monitor. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> um, Mom, I, I did, did it, it again! That. Maybe I'll watch it. Um, <clears throat> maybe I'll watch it tonight. It's at work or something. But, oh, Jason uh, X? Yeah, because it's on Sci-Fi on Demand or something. Have you so, never seen it? Couldn't watch the entire thing. I'm just like, eh. Well, Freddy vs. Jason. It's not the classic. Freddy vs. Jason's amazing. I thought it was good. Yeah, I've seen Freddy vs. Jason. We should do Freddy vs. Jason vs. Michael Myers and see. Terrible. <laughs> um, right. how about you, Dylan? What's your favorite uh, Halloween scary franchise? When it comes to franchises. I mean, anything could be just a, a single so if, movie. If it's just a single movie, it was very recently I watched it, like a month ago, but it was one of the first scary movies in such a long time. Like, I used to, as a kid, I laughed at Children of the Corn where my brother was scared of like cornfields for like 10 years. You know? like, <laughs> so, <clears throat> like, not that long, but he was terrified of them. Um, I laughed at it, and I was younger than him, so it was kind of funny. So, I think scary movies like Chucky, like that, that scarred my brother, and for me, I'm like, because <laughs> like, I, I was so young, it just looked stupid. And um, and when I got older, I just like never got rid of that. So, a lot of the scary movies, I always like, like the slashers. The only thing that really gets me is like the whoa, like that, but it's not really like anything scary. And uh, recently, I watched Hellfest, which I had never seen before. And damn, that was actually like a scary movie. And I was like, oh shit, like that was good. Like, so basically, for anyone who's never seen Hellfest, Hellfest is supposed to be like a uh, picture like when I don't know, Six Flags does their like Halloween theme, whatever. But like, that's the only reason for this festival. So it's this giant festival that's just supposed to be Halloween related. And there's haunted houses inside the event. And basically, there's a guy who's dressed up. Um, and apparently like the very beginning of the movie, it starts off telling you that somebody died in a haunted house and then it shows it. Right. And then, you know, years later, these new guys are going to this hell fest and they're like, oh yeah, there's this guy that at some other, um, you know, Halloween house got murdered in it for real. And they're like telling it like it was fake and then scaring their friends. And then later they're like, oh yeah, no, that was real. But then they're in this event already and some guy is following them the whole time. And so they're freaked out by it until eventually they get to a part of Hellfest because like there's like layers of hell they keep going through. And the deeper they get in, eventually they see a bunch of people that look just like that guy because they're all wearing the same stuff. So that guy got the same like uh, costume as them. So now it's getting even worse because now they see him everywhere, even though they're pretty sure they watched him kill someone, but they thought it was part of the event. Right. right, so like it's it's like so messed up. So it's one of those things that it makes you where you like you know th those few times where you're like obviously I'm just used to this it's Halloween and then this is this makes it so it's actually scary like where you're going through and you're like so one of these guys could actually be a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it, it, it was a, I don't want to spoil too much of it, but like it's a uh, it, it was like it had like the jump scenes as well like this stuff where like oh shit something came out of nowhere but it also just had like like terrifying shit and like the. The, the murder scenes are like gruesome like it was like crazy sweet i i like a lot of i like horror movies in general 
I none of them really scare me. The only <laughs> horror movie that actually scares me is the uh, for five seconds, The Exorcist. That's it, <laughs> and it's the little thing when the demon pops up, up from nowhere for five seconds. It goes oh, nice, and, and it just shows it real quick. That's the because like when the first time I ever watched it, anytime like when you're opening the fridge or whatever, and it's what before the light comes on when you're opening the fridge, that there's that darkness, and then you just did you say salad. I said salad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I that was scared the fuck like, out of me. Oh no, no! You're opening it, and then it's like, oh, um, like salad. <laughs> I'm not a rabbit. So you're mm-hmm. opening the fridge, and then like it's still dark. So I, you, I like saw its face or whatever, a demon face or whatever, for a little while, and I was like, what the fuck? That I wonder why I'm not drinking down here. It's from too much smoking. <laughs> Yeah, um, I, I, no think, uh, <laughs> I think the the exorcist was definitely one of my favorites because uh well the first time i seen it i was like i don't know 13 years old and it fucking made me laugh so hard especially <laughs> the scene where she's like fuck me fuck me like that oh, was the God. funniest <laughs> shit ever and the, the priest is just like sitting there, blood splattering on his face, and she's just like, "Oh God, the power um, of Christ compels me!" <laughs> fucking hilarious. Yeah, the, the, the scary movie version of that is fucking hilarious. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> but what's funny is I felt like I laughed harder at the original <laughs> than, yeah. than the the scary movie version. Um, but no, I think uh, for me, it, it, like Nightmare on Elm Street is is like classic to me, but I don't like it. Doesn't scare me so much, but it's more to me like. I kind of analyze it and I'm like, oh shit, yeah, that's some real shit. Like, it, it's about confronting your fears and dreams and your subconscious and shit like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, I think like movies like Hereditary kind of give me Never more of it. like a creep factor, and I'm kind of invested more into the story. And I like horror movies that that are like that, that are like not cheap. You know, like I don't like scary jump scare movies. Like that shit is it's lame. Like the story is bad, and then they just throw in little jump scares to try and like actually like that's not being scared that's being surprised there's two different things um but yeah i like psychological kind of like horror movies like something like john carpenter's the thing um that was actually like one of my favorites as well um i do like paranormal movies kind of like the whole um ghostbusters yeah like (laughs) what'd you say i ain't afraid of no ghosts Oh, Ghostbusters. Yeah, Ghostbusters scared the shit out of me. Yeah, like, with the girls, all the girls. Yeah, yeah literally. Yeah, poop came scary. out of me. <laughs> the girl I'll, never, I'll never watch that one. I'm scarred. <laughs> it wasn't bad. Girl. Don't be a hater. The new one looks fucking amazing, though. Holy shit. I, I, I don't so watch the, the new one. Man. With the kids of them. That's what? The, you know, the one where it's supposed to be like the kids. Like, it's like one, it's just one of the kids of one of the main four is like bringing it back. It's a, it's like his or uh, um, so it's Egan's like niece. Yeah, the guy who died like, in real life. Yeah, yep, exactly. Yeah. Uh, Harold Remus. Yeah, uh, he's the one who died. Yeah, but um, no, no movies like uh, like again like Insidious and like um, I don't really like the whole um, Conjuring movies, but like I think like, it's cool that they're all tied together. Like the Conjuring, the 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 what's it called the the Nun. Uh, I only like watch the first Conjuring. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was just running through my list of like ones I was thinking of now that I'm like, because like, it's been so long since I've thought about it, but very recently I've been wa- like watching some of these. Yeah, The Conjuring was a really good one. That one's like, that one's creepy as fuck. I was, yeah, when I was living in Florida, <clears throat> uh, the house I was in, the one girl was like, oh, you should actually watch that. I'm like, your parents let you watch that? You're like a <laughs> Christian girl. <laughs> yeah, like I don't tell them. And I'm like, okay. Well, I mean, it has to do with demons. So I yeah, guess I that, say, that yeah, fits into the Christian it. modality. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, anything. It's probably a, a good one for that. Um, yeah, another one was The Ring. I forgot about I never The Ring. I saw that. I know what <clears> it is. That one was actually terrifying, too. That was one of the, that, I think that was probably one of the first scary movies that actually like got me. I forgot about that one, though. Because that, that's okay. the one. That, that's the one where, like, when you watch the TV, you get a phone call. And it's like, seven days. And, like, yeah, that's the yeah. whole point of it. Um, it's so funny because I'm all I'm doing right now is I'm running through the scary movies in my head, like the mo- the scary movie movies. And I'm going, what movies did they make fun of? Oh, yeah, that was a scary movie. <laughs> Actually, yeah, Insidious I, I watched, like, months ago. I can't remember and, uh, Insidious if I've, if I've seen it. What's that what, one about? Oh, I think the, the creepy, and it's not – 
Well, I guess the like the demon thing in it is creepy. But the thing that's really creepy, and anytime I listen to the fucking song on TikTok, I want to punch whoever puts that fucking sound in, is the set the song and the mom is like outside or whatever, and she sees like a figure in the window just like standing around or whatever near the record player or something, and it's like oh the dog <laughs> fucking weird. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. I don't like that sound. <laughs> but I'm taking it off. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Just put it on the head like this. Insidious is uh, the kid. Um, oh, he's Zoro. <laughs> the kid, this is my real mask. The kid in the family, he like can somehow like. Uh, I can't. He even can think. like see through the veil, essentially. Like he. Yeah. And it's it, the dad too. The dad is the yep. same way. The yeah. dad is like a medium. And he doesn't really know it. And then the, the kid is like open to it. And he basically gets sucked into the into the veil and the dad has to go in after him. But basically it's like, I think the, the, the coolest part about that movie was the demon because there's no other movie where you see such like, it's like de- there's a lot of demonology in that movie. Like you have a lot more like indications of this is what the focus of the movie is, is about these like demon characters. Um, what I didn't like actually was that they brought in the whole like aspect of, oh no, there's, there's real spirits too. And like, it's like the, the old lady and her son. And like, yeah. I thought that was dumb as hell. Like what you had a really cool concept with just the demons, like just make it about them, you know? Um, so they fall away from that towards the end of the movie. And then there's another one insidious two. And I only watched the first one, but yeah, it basically like the dad gets possessed and then he's, he's possessed by the old lady. And it's like, this is lame now. Like, again, like, and, and it's less, they do introduce more demons though, as like, like number two, like they, there's more than just that first initial demon. There's like more, uh, but they, they don't focus on it. And I was like, that's like the scariest part. Like you're, you're leaving out the scariest part in this horror movie and you're, you're going with like the lamest route. But you know, I thought the first one was pretty good. Like the first part of the movie, I think really like it, it sold me. And then as it got to the end, I was just like, yeah, this is just like another paranormal kind of movie. Yeah. That was like, um, it's not a horror movie or anything, but uh, you and Matt told me about that Hellier show. Oh, yeah. Everything to watch. <laughs> it was like, okay, up to a certain point, then it's just all conspiracy stuff. And then, like, near the end, it's just like they're trying to look for fairies and shit. And, like, yeah, no, hell you now because I'm already on <laughs> <out of> that <fantasy. laughs> uh, I I think Hellier is cool because it's kind of like that mockumentary, like, and it doesn't, <clears throat> it doesn't ever change, like, where you're like, oh, this is this is hundred percent a script, you know, mm-hmm. like it does kind of carry that that mockumentary throughout, even at the end, because when they're like, oh, we're looking through, we're like, now we're looking for fairies and all types of shit, like, it's still the same principle of like they don't know what's going on here, like, there's yeah. never like this, oh, we have the answer figured out, and then here's the linear narrative that puts it all together. It's like it's just always random shit that keeps coming up and keep, like it's and what's messed up about it or what's messed up and cool is that all of those things that they're talking about are real things, like they're there's yeah. real like these yeah. are all like urban legends and like they it's things that people believe from these different areas. They go throughout the different states and shit, and yeah, I and think all tied into liked, like the Appalachian yeah. Mountains. And it's yeah, it's I think pretty the cool. only thing I liked about that entire thing was um, what's, what's that one called? It's called Hell Year. Year. It's like a series, it's not a movie. It, it's like yeah, a, it's a show. A, it was supposed to be a one-hour documentary, and it turned into two seasons. Actually, there's a third season, I think. Yeah, but, uh, but it's it's on a paid like you can't you can't watch it for free anymore. Yeah. Um, but I watched it on Amazon. And uh yeah, it went from like aliens, little goblin people to um <laughs> fucking green man and shit. I'm like what? And then if you find a blue balloon in the woods, then it's somehow <laughs> this conspiracy thing and cult that yeah, it's so weird. I saw it was it. It was yeah. I haven't seen chapter two either. Um, no, it was it was about like they are they made it about synchronicities. Like a lot of them, like a lot of the the show in terms of Hellier, like a lot of it was about synchronicities and like oh we've seen this so many times. Like throughout every time we ask this question, we see this thing, or yeah. every time we you know we're in this place, we have this kind of things, the same thing pop up over and over. And you know like that's flimsy. It, it definitely is super flimsy. But it, it, to me, that's like. It, it seems more realistic because it's like again it, there's no solidity to it. it it is all just like 
speculation. And yeah. I think that, that that's what makes it, I guess, more realistic to me because there are no answers in the real life, in, in the real version of it. Like if you went and tried to investigate the shit on your own, you would come up with just as many dead ends as they yeah. do. But the the ending of the second season um, doesn't really spoil anything besides <laughs> no. the, one, the one guy, Tyler. See, I, I know their fucking names and shit. Um, <laughs> he's doing that like... Uh, he has the headphones on and he's trying to listen to the other side or something. And he, he's like possessed in a way by Michael the fucking Archangel. And I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, which by the way, though, that, that experiment that they're doing is actually a really like dope ass way to like rule out um, like um, what's it called? Um, oh, fuck. Fuck. Um, I can't think of the word right now. Um, contamination. So like there's basically like you have one person who doesn't know what's going on, doesn't know the questions that are being asked. They're just listening to white noise. And then yeah. the pe other people are asking the questions and essentially like he's coming up with the answers. So like that experiment is something that like other paranormal groups are taking on now. I forget what it's called. It's like some, the something machine or something like that. Yeah. Um, and it's actually really like, a great way to eliminate contamination. So that, that experiment specifically is really interesting. I think, yeah, that was, they, they definitely gave it away. Like this is, <laughs> this is fabrication, right? Like it's not real. And mm -hmm. this isn't, this isn't like a real documentary. It's a mockumentary. Um, when they went too far with that kind of stuff, like you said, like Michael, the archangel and all that kind of shit. So, yeah. um, you gotta realize I look like, I look like a monster cat, like the, uh, the production company. I don't, I don't know if you guys know what that monster cat is. If anyone plays Rocket League, they're like the ones that have like all the songs on there. They're like I, I think they're like a, a label. I don't know what they are actually. Hmm. Um, Licensing subscription. But yeah. Uh, get back into like actual Halloween. Oh, another one that I was thinking of just because I was thinking of through the scary movies is uh, the Saw, the first one. Oh, I, saw oh, I like good. I like that, all of the Saw movies. I like I like them too. It's just like the first one's like that one that ropes you in, just because you're like, what the fuck? And then like at the end when uh, the dude leaves. Yeah, yeah. Hostel is is one of those too, though. Like that's kind of like this is a, somewhat of a realistic scenario. Like Saw is one of those like this could actually happen. Like there's there there's probably serial killers who have done similar things uh, that as this guy. And I think that Hostel is kind of that same kind of vibe as well. Um, yeah, I think, honestly, they should make a scary movie that's like real world concept, like sex trafficking, because that shit's fucking terrifying oh, yeah. in real what was life. That, what was that movie? Is that Hostel? Is that the one you're talking about where in like Europe they, they yeah. capture the, the girls and then like they're it's, just like, pay, yeah, it's like, like, like rich, rich dudes pay to like mutilate them and stuff? Yeah, it's like Saw, yeah, but yeah. That, that's that messed up because like, what, what was it? That dude that... uh the dude that didn't want to be there, and then the girl breaks out, gets him into the chair, and then, whoops! Because remember, somebody's got to get cut or something like that. No, yeah. everybody remember that part? It's kind of fucked up. Kind of fucked up, my guys. <laughs> No, yeah, I I, th I definitely think those real world kind of concepts have more of a like an appeal to me because like that's kind of why I like true crime and shit because it's not fa it's not fabricated like this 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 is real shit like people have done this kind of stuff so yeah yeah get paranoid after a little bit watching too much of that I stopped yeah. watching that at work after a while because I'm just like bro I, I don't trust anybody now like oh my god yeah so I, I watched I watched up to a certain point like I need to stop watching this at work <laughs> for a little bit. And I was watching. I don't. I don't even know how many times I was watching that uh, investigation Discovery Channel. Oh yeah, because <laughs> the guy at work was just like he he watches that stuff all the time. And then um, he's just like, oh, what about this uh, this serial killer? I was like, oh okay. And then I'll watch it. And then I'm just like, there's this guy. When I was still in my apartment, there was this guy, and he was just at a bus stop that was across the street, but. <laughs> I was just paranoid, and I'm like, I'm running inside now because I, <laughs> I don't trust this guy. <laughs> you don't know me. Well, that was terrifying. You see that? Ah. I don't know. Ah. That's my purse. So, um. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I, I agree. Like, it, it's funny because we're talking about horror, but like horror movies, and obviously those are films. Those are those are imaginary pieces of work. But yeah, the scariest shit can never be. Like the scariest things are the real life things, like that people do to one another. Well, what's it called? Uh, what's that? Uh, FBI 
Dang, what the hell's the name of it? Criminal Minds. Dude, oh, yeah, some of the some good. of the stuff in that is messed up because like in some of the episodes um, where like like some people end up like leaving or it's like some of those FBI agents have some messed up stuff happen to them, like really messed up stuff happen yeah. to them because they're chasing serial killers that figure out who they are and then like they turn on them, like it's crazy. So I also just found this out that um, so there are it, this is this is real. There's a bunch more serial killers than we even know about. Most of the serial killers and things that we know about are people that have already been caught. caught. And like, yeah. yeah, they're in jail, and then now we're knowing. But there's like active serial killers that are doing really fucked up shit. And like, yeah, there's like FBI people, like profilers and shit. Like, have you ever watched Hannibal, the series? Uh, not the yeah. series. So yeah, it's it's basically it's it's Hannibal Lecter, right? But it's like basically modern day so it's not back in you know the 80s or whatever it has nothing to do with uh but basically it's like it's before the 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 aspect of before hannibal becomes like before he gets locked up and then clarice and all that kind of shit so it's like the fbi (laughs) the fbi profiler and then hannibal's still uh like a psychiatrist and he's helping other serial killers like somehow i don't know why but like and this is the only part of the show that doesn't make any sense like there's a whole bunch of serial killers that end up in his office right like end up getting like psychiatric care from him and then he ends up helping them out like once he like convinces them to tell him everything he's like okay cool yeah like i'm into this too like i eat people so like we'll work together right um yeah, you kill him i'll eat him i'm a little hunter. Yeah, yeah, exactly Not much um, of a hunter. <laughs> but, but it's but it's really cool because like on the fbi side of it like on the the criminal aspect of it right so you have hannibal side and then you have the people that are chasing him like that shit's real like they find bodies that are like horribly mutilated and all types of stuff and they're trying to put it together and like those that that's actually real like i did a lot of deep diving into that because i was well, like well, how real is things- this show yeah, one of the creepiest things I found out was like, so like aside from like all the serial killers, even in like just the states, like that quantity per capita, go down to Mexico and like the cartel, like the oh, yeah. quantity of bodies Terrible. they find that they can never, they can't indicate who they are. Like it's yeah. like crazy creepy. Like, I don't know was, the the drug war down there is ridiculousness. Yeah, when I was when I was coming back from Mexico, I I probably have mentioned this before. When I was coming back from Mexico. I was on a plane by myself. Well, not by myself. Obviously, there was other people on the plane. But um, there was... <laughs> like the Twilight Zone. <laughs> something um, on the wing. But there was, there was a girl behind my seat, and she's on the phone when we were getting into Hollywood, Florida, to get from Mexico there. And then from there, we would go to... Uh, well, I would go to Albany. And... Um, we were getting into Florida and landing, and she's like, finally gets to call her mom, and she's like, "Yeah, I got on the on the plane, okay, but like, there was this taxi driver in Mexico that was trying to kind of like take me and put me in his car," and I was like, "What the fuck? Am I listening to?" <laughs> yeah, because that that happens in like the airport. It's like, oh, you don't know where you're going. Oh. There, there was a there was a story I heard. I'm with and, me, and, and me. it was basically like this Instagram influencer. She got like um, a free stay at a hotel, right? Like, oh, you know, we want you to promote our hotel, blah blah blah, right? So, like, you know, the whole influencer thing, right? Like, you you get free shit, so if you can, so you can, you know, bring their the credibility of the hotel up. She gets there. <clears throat> she brought a male friend with her. They said, like, oh, bring like one of your girlfriends, you know, another influencer, blah blah blah. They get there. She brings her male friend because she couldn't find anybody that wanted to go, like a female friend that wanted to go. These two guys put like they're in a nice car and stuff like that, and they they have like a sign for her, you know, oh, cut, you know. We're here to pick you up, right? They get super pissed off when they see the male guy show up, right? And they're like, you know, or whatever. They get in the car and they're arguing with each other. And apparently they're speaking like Portuguese or something like that. So, yeah, like come to find out, she goes to the hotel because they they like kicked them out of the car. They're like, no, get out, like, you know, whatever. So they go to the actual hotel because they're thinking like, oh, I guess there was a miscommunication. They were expecting a girl and that's why they kicked us out of the car. That's why they're pissed. But they're the drivers. They're not the hotel. You know what I mean? So like yeah. they go to the hotel and they ask and the lady's like, no, like we don't know anything you're talking about. We have we don't know who you are. Like, so, yeah, that, that was like a sex trafficking like scheme to like take these girls and sell them into sex trafficking. And uh, yeah, it's intense, man. It's it's some real shit. Like people don't understand how uh, how real it is. I've literally seen things where like there, it's it's parking lot security cam videos of dudes waiting in parking lots for chicks to come out and snatching them up and getting gone. Kids too, man. 
it's it's nuts.